I'm Darren and this is Amanda and Orn and today we come to one of our local markets. We're going to do some shopping, show you a recipe and hopefully cook some really yummy food. Let's go shopping. First up, the prawn shop. This lady's got a few different types of prawns. We're gonna grab half a kilo of those. Oh, <laughs> This is Ban Tala Gao Market. There's markets like this all over Thailand, pretty much in every town and city there are loads of them. Great place to buy all your cooking ingredients that you need. They've got more or less everything you could possibly want. I'll put all the details for this market in the description below the video. Next up, the pork shop. Right, so there's quite a few bits of pork here. I think we've picked the one that we want. Uh, uh, yeah. As well as fresh food, you'll also find heaps of prepared food and also street food here. Next stop, the vegetable shop. They seem to have everything we need, I think. So, she's gonna grab some celery by the look. That one's celery? Uh, yes. I think it's Chinese celery. Is that my thing? Yeah. And coriander. This guy's also got some noodles, so we're going to grab them here. Oh, wouldn't send me hot like me. One or two. Oh, so hot. 35 baht. All right, we've also got garlic and ginger here. So we're going to grab some of that too. Last stop, the spice shop for black pepper. And oyster sauce. Some whole heap of sauces here. Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Here. Yeah. Okay. Ah, Ah, I do well, that's our shopping trip done. Time to go home and cook.
So we're back home now and these are our ingredients. We got coriander, Chinese celery, garlic, ginger, black pepper, a piece of pork, prawns, oyster sauce, and glass noodles. These are the noodles that we bought at the market. I didn't actually realize these are already prepared and soft. So we've been out to the supermarket and grabbed a packet, which you're more likely to find in your home country at an Asian grocery store. These are also known as Chinese vermicelli or bean thread noodles. They're made from mung bean starch. Oh, well, here we are with our celebrity chef on. We're gonna make gung obunsen. We're gonna start with the noodles here. These are known as wunsen in Thai. And these need to be soaked. They are dry and hard when they come out of the packet. Just gonna add some water at room temperature and these take about 10 minutes to soak. I just use your hand, nah? <laughs> She's separating them with her hands, just covering them with the water. And we're gonna put them aside for 10 minutes. And next is the pork. This is basically gonna be the oil for the pot that we're gonna cook it in. This is a piece of pork shoulder by the look. Normally this would be pork belly. They'd sold out a pork belly by the time we got there. I'm just gonna trim some of the fattier bits off and we're gonna line the pot with that to give our noodles a nice flavor. Got the assistant down here. So we're gonna slice this thin with a freshly sharpened knife. You can also use oil for this, but the traditional way is to use the fattier bits of pork. We drain the noodles and Orn's gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces now. We'll cut head and clean shrimp. Now we get a garlic, ginger, and black pepper ready. So we cut the ginger. Three slices of ginger. Garlic. One clove of garlic. Doesn't get much fresher than that. The coriander next, we're gonna use the root from three coriander plants. And after cutting them, we're gonna squash those. Okay, I was looking very professional with the glove there. Next is the oyster sauce. I'm gonna put that into the mix and she's gonna put five spoons of that in. There are many different recipes for this dish. There isn't really a standard one. Everyone has their own way of doing it. Orn's is pretty simple and it's also very tasty. So you will see other variations of this recipe. Then she's going to mix it through. Can do like this. If you have time, nah. can do just same like massage. <laughs> so if you do it like a massage, the sauce will be absorbed into the noodles. Okay, next we're going to drain the shrimps. Take them out of the water and put them into a bowl so they can dry. We got a special Gung Obunsen pot here, which is a Thai style pot. Orn's going to heat the pot on our little stove here. This is our cooking stove. It'd be a camping stove in most other countries, but here it's our official stove. We've got the pork and Orn's heated the pot. I'm going to add a few slices of the pork to that. If you don't have this sort of pot, you can use other pots. Traditionally, this dish would have been cooked in a clay pot. So this is the oil that's forming here to cook it in to stop it from sticking. As I said, you can use oil if you don't want to use pork fat, but the pork fat does give it an extra flavour. Orn's going to remove the pork fat from I the dish leave, now. I just leave two in pot and put now.
and water. And then she's going to mix it. Make sure it doesn't stick. And then six prawns go in. The prawns just sit on top of the noodles there. And then the lid goes on. About five minutes. Next is the Chinese celery. Orn's gonna cut that. She's just rinsed it while the prawns are cooking. This is gonna go on top. Some people use green onion, some people use coriander as well. Orn uses Chinese celery for this, also known as leafy celery. We're gonna check this. Prawns look like they're about half cooked. Mm -hmm. They're already cooked underneath. Bit more water. It's been about five minutes. We're going to check it again for the second time. Ooh, that smells good. I think it's finished. All right. So the final touch, the Chinese celery. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Okay. Ready? This only put for smell, but I can eat like if want to eat. Not have too much. Well done. Before okay. put out, mm -hmm. turn shrimp. To the bottom. To the bottom. Okay, and so when you pour it out, boy. the shrimps are going to be on top. Good idea. Yeah. Mm, wow. Wow. Mm, wow. Wow. Looks and smells great. Now chef will taste. Now the chef will taste. All right. <laughs> so. Good. How good? Very good. But I cook. <laughs> and Owen's gonna try the prawn. Peel that. Good. Good. So we. <laughs> Good. All right, let's give this a go. We've got some noodle and Chinese celery there. Very, very tasty. The Chinese celery has actually got quite a strong flavor. It's got a subtle hint of the coriander in there as well. A little bit of a pepper flavor. Very, very tasty dish. As Orn said before, you don't need to eat the Chinese celery. Some people prefer not to eat it. The noodles are great. Likewise, you can eat the ginger. Yum. Got one of the prawns peeled here. One's left the tail on it for me. I'll just bite through that. No. The tail works like a little handle. Mm. These are very, very sweet prawns. Very tasty. Nice and moist. This is one of my favorite Thai dishes. Do try it. You'll find it at lots of seafood restaurants and plenty of other restaurants as well in Thailand. And as you can see, it's really easy to make at home. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for lots more Thai food and travel videos. I post new videos every Wednesday. So thanks a lot to the chef. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.